Hustle is the fuel for ambitious young professionals. It's the mantra of hoodie-wearing developers and the elixir of deal-closing salespeople. It's the drug of serial entrepreneurs. We side hustle, main hustle, work hustle, and out hustle to make it big and make it rich and achieve success. Hustle is awesome, isn't it? We love to hustle and feed off the energy of other people who hustle. Our Instagram feeds are filled with inspirational hustle harder quotes, but there's a danger to the hustle. When we promote hustle, it loses meaning. Hustle must possess purpose beyond itself. If we hustle wrong, we can hustle our way straight to disillusionment and discouragement. What's worse, hustle can lead to the destructive malady of workaholism. Workaholism doesn't have an entry in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. It's still there though, even if it's not identified specifically. Workaholism falls under a spectrum of other concerns. Most significantly, workaholism is identified as an addiction. The DSM-5's complex classification system has begun to erase the fine line between addictive behaviors and behavioral addictions. What does this mean for workaholism? It means, among other things, that workaholism can be a dangerous addiction. Furthermore, workaholics are at a higher risk for other psychological maladies like ADHD, anxiety, OCD, and depression. Now, the whole correlation versus causation question will no doubt arise here. Does workaholism cause such mental illnesses, or do these illnesses produce the workaholism? What's the difference between a healthy hustle and a dangerous addiction to work? Are you hustling in a good way, or workaholicking in a bad way? As unsatisfying as it is, it just depends. It depends on your proclivity to addictive behavior, your responsibilities as an adult, the needs of your family, and a host of other factors. The foremost research on workaholism admits the line between excessive enthusiasm and a genuine addiction is difficult to define. You may be passionate about work, and that's a good thing. When does your passion begin to leak into workaholism and begin to erode your health and well-being, though? That's where things get murky. Here are some signs that your hustle can be leading to workaholism. You work in order to reduce your stress in other areas of life. You feel like you need to work harder or longer in order to feel better about yourself and your life. You're constantly dissatisfied with the number of hours you're working. You get stressed out when you're not working. You feel angry, anxious, or depressed if you're unable to work longer than you want to. You neglect other responsibilities in order to work. You lack a sense of meaning or purpose in your work, but continue working longer and harder in an attempt to overcome it. You never really take a vacation, or if you go on vacation, you're working through it. If you think, wow, that's me, to a few of the points above, don't panic. Any hardworking manager, entrepreneur, or modern worker has at times felt the anxiety of needing to work more, the strain of not going on vacation and the stretches of long hour days. For many of us though, there are ways to reverse this slide towards workaholism. In our experience, there are two kinds of hustle. Hustle one, you drag your weary carcass out of bed, put caffeine in your face, crawl to your computer, and pound it for hours. You hate it. You loathe it. Everything feels out of balance. You restrain the occasional desire to place your fist through the flimsy screen of your MacBook. Or hustle two. You wake up, you're full of energy, enthusiasm, and excitement. You work as hard as possible during your working hours, spend time with your family, and take time for self-care and personal development. You get way more done, and you're far more fulfilled. What's the difference between hustle one and hustle two? It has nothing to do with the quality of your coffee, though I'm sure you have your preferences. It has everything to do with purpose and meaning. If you hustle with meaning, you'll be able to dodge the hazards of workaholism while also improving the quality of your hustle and the quality of your life. To keep hustle from devolving into a mind-numbing, soul-sucking, life-draining pursuit, you need to balance your hustle with several other things. The first of these things is an overarching life purpose, the very reason for your existence and for your work. It didn't take us long to go from talking about hustle to pondering the meaning of existence, did it? That's because it's important. One helpful model for contemplating this issue is Simon Sinek's famous golden circle, asking the why question to drive us to a central purpose for our action. The purpose isn't to burden you with existential issues, but rather to encourage you to bring meaning to your work. Different people will have different purposes, and that's okay. For some, meaning is more than faith. Some find their meaning in contributing to a greater good, to caring for their families, or to achieving a personal goal. There's not a right or wrong answer to the why am I working question. The point is to choose something, even if that something changes, and to keep that purpose at the center of your thinking. Here are a few guidelines to help you hustle with meaning. 
Define your purpose, the one central thing that defines who it is you are and why you're working. Set your goals. Your goals should contribute to fulfilling that purpose. Understand your priorities. When you've defined your central purpose in life, it makes it far easier to prioritize the right things. Remember, don't start with the hustle. Start with the why, the purpose, and work outward so that your hustle is fueled by that purpose. When we elevate hustle above purpose, we lose all sense of meaning. When disconnected from our purpose, hustle is nothing more than an exercise in wasted effort, wasted time, and basically a wasted life. Hustle accomplishes nothing unless it's coupled with purpose. In order to live a truly meaningful life, you need to do more than just hustle. You need to hustle with meaning. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.